Today, I'm going to tell you about clinical benefits of honey. I've been studying different foods for their health benefits for a while. I haven't done really any videos on that topic. This will be the first one that I'll do of its kind. And the reason why, because of all the studies that I've done so far on different spices, especially what was really interesting about this particular study was that it investigated clinical trials using honey as a form of medicine. Super interesting. Obviously, we all know how healthy honey is. We're going to get into interesting details of how it has been used clinically as a form of medicine. We do know that honey has antioxidative properties. That's really good. It has anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial. And by that, I mean it's both antibacterial and antiviral. So great benefits. Most of that is due to presence of what is referred to as phenolic compounds inside honey. And I'll talk about these in a moment in quite a detail. So honey has been used by humans for thousands of years for, for variety of different reasons. Obviously, besides just food, also as medicine, the evidence suggests that honey has been around, used by humans for at least 8,000 years. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this comes from, from paintings inside caves that are this old, where the paintings inside cave, the cave paintings depict people um, basically uh, get knocking off honeys uh, from um, hives from, uh, from uh, trees. So, uh, and it's likely that it's probably much, much older than that, than just the use of honey by humans is probably much older than that. We just don't. That's the oldest evidence we have. Now, before I get into the clinical trials, let me give you the summary first. Uh, what are the, the benefits that have been studied so far? Number one, the, it's the cardiovascular and metabolic risks improvement. Number two, this is really, really interesting, improvement in glucose tolerance. So this is great uh, information for people with diabetes. Uh, number three, improvement in mu mucositis. This is inflammation of the lining inside your mouth and, and throat that is especially common in uh, cancer patients who have to take chemotherapy for certain type of cancers. Another one is improvement in cough in children and last one wound healing and we'll and we'll break it down right away but first let me tell you about honey a bit itself 80 to 85 percent of honey is made up of sugar so this is where some people think okay great it's functional food meaning it actually can give you certain benefits in terms of the a quality of, of what kind of food you have in there, but because of the amount of sugar, maybe some uh, come, might consider that it's not a good food as well because of the, <laughs> the too much of the, of the sugar uh, involved. But studies show that that's not the case, that, that overall, um, overall honey has, shows great health benefits um, despite its high sugar content, especially if honey is used instead of other forms of sugar, mm, approximately 10 to 17% of honey is water, 0.1 to 0.4% is proteins, and the rest, which is a very tiny fraction, remaining fraction will be vitamins, minerals, phenolic compounds, and other organic compounds. The color of honey, when we all know how variable the, the color of honey can be, is um, determined usually by those phenolic compounds and minerals. Now, when it comes to phenolic compounds, these are the good guys, these are the guy, good guys we want. That can really differ between different honeys, so not every honey is equal. It can range between 0.65 milligrams to 80, about 85 milligrams per 100 grams of honey. So huge difference between the, depending on what kind of honey you're using. And that, of course, has to, um, that has to do with what kind of plants were being used in the production of, of honey. Okay, so what are these phenolic compounds? Phenolic compounds are, are produced by plants 
plants in order to attract bees for pollination purposes. That's one. Number two, they are used as a form of protection from pathogens. And another one ascribed benefit is it helps plants to be protected from uh, UV radiation. <laughs> Can't get this right. There you go. That's what I want to show you. So overall, phenolic compounds are good guys. The phenolic compounds, we can subdivide them to two categories. I want to mention them because these are words that are worth memorizing because if you're going to hear about these in your food, you want those. Those are flavonoids and phenolic acids. All right, now let's break it down in terms of these clinical trials. So in the last 40 years, this paper that I'm reviewing was published in... in not long ago, <laughs> can't remember, maybe 2022. Uh, in the last 40 years, so from 80, uh, 1985 till maybe 2022, there was about four, 48, just under 50 clinical trials done with honey. It sounds great, that number. The only problem is, is these are usually very small number. The total number of people involved in all of these 50 trials is just barely under 4,000. So I think it was 3,655 patients were studied. That's a very low number over so many years of studying. So that's quite unfortunate. Why, why is that? Because the larger that number, the better it is for us in terms of statistical accuracies of what we're gaining. We want these numbers to be much, much bigger than that. And unfortunately, it shows you that science in general is just not really interested in studying honey as a form of medicine. That's unfortunate. I can't explain that because so far what has been studied looks extremely positive. Okay, so then let's break it down in terms of what I told you, these five benefits. So cardiovascular and metabolic uh, uh, issues. So it show, honey has been shown to improve the lipid profile in people. So that increases your low density lipoproteins or the bad cholesterol. And as a consequence, improves the high density lipoproteins or good cholesterol. It is believed that the reason why high, the HDL high density lipoprotein increases is because you no longer need to use it up to grab the cholesterol from low density lipoproteins or your cells and move it to the liver. So now you have more of it available to the circulation. It also improves BMI index in people who use honey instead of other forms of sugar. So it's great for weight loss reduction. So that, that's an interesting one. And um, flavonoids are considered to be one of those benef beneficial compounds there in terms of improvement as well. Besides the LDL, flavonoids have other benefits. They help to dilate your blood vessels. That's one. They also, let me try to make sure I remember this. Um, mm, they reduce the platelet aggregation, so clotting as well. So that's, that's another benefit. And they reduce oxidation of your low density lipoproteins, which is a bad thing for, for them. Oxidation in general, while we can sometimes use it as a weapon to fight, um, fight uh, infections or, or, uh, <laughs> come back, come back, come back, or, uh, or work, uh, against say fighting cancer cells. If we have too much oxidation, it can be dangerous as well. So oxidation in general can be bad if, if it's not properly controlled. So flavonoids can reduce that as well. So the consumption that in these studies was about 70 grams of honey per day uh, in terms of uh, seeing these beneficial effects for, for the cardiovascular uh, conditions. Um, all right, so that's, that's that fun. Let's move on to the next one. And that was um, on, uh, the fact that... Um, Honey improves glucose tolerance, so it's anti-diabetic. So what does it do? It reduces, actually it reduces glucose levels in your body. This is an interesting one because it's so high in, in glucose. And 
That's number one. It increases level of insulin, circulating insulin in your, in your blood. So that's also great. And it's also thought that it might, well, it might uh, help, um, it might help uh, heal the beta cells, which are responsible for production and uh, of insulin. So really, really interesting potential benefits for for diabetic patients. I believe the consumption there was somewhere around 20 grams per day uh, in these studies. And why why is this might be beneficial? Well, the phenolic compounds is uh, the phenolic acids. They are known to be antioxidants because of their structure, and therefore they can uh, they can <clears throat> neutralize reactive oxygen species. Why is that important? Because it's believed that oxidation and then and reactive oxygen oxygen species they are an important component in production or induction of diabetes itself so uh, that is that is one uh, positive effect as well and um, what else it also might help to inhibit certain enzymes in our body that are involved in breakdown of these complex sugars starches and therefore mm, release of sugars into our circulation so that might be slow down as well so that's the for glucose tolerant, tolerance improvement. Next one where I was mentioning is mucositis. As I mentioned, chemotherapy can inflame the mucus lining of the upper respiratory tract and honey solution shows to really improve that, really help cancer patients. Now, honey appears to be quite beneficial for cancer patients with an exception this was interesting so i'll repeat it with an exception of manuka a, a type of honey so that one is is potentially not what cancer patient would want to be uh, con considering so let's move on now to the next one was the cough in children and that one uh, dramatically reduced the cough and irritation in children and irritation of the throat I uh, believed uh, this was a small amount I think it was 2.5 to 10 grams of honey per day uh, was uh, was the doses used and what is believed uh, to be happening there is that the sugars itself stimulate salivation process and that might help both uh, reduce the irritation of the tract as well as improvement in the production of, of the or healing of the mucosal layer layer uh, next one wound healing wound healing i uh, was shown to mm, help quickly or faster for the wounds to heal and patients were able to leave hospital hospitals faster and with with the honey use and this did not um, was the honey was not better than the pharmacological mm, interventions for enhancing wound healing but the benefit here is that honey does not produce any side effects as compared to some of the drugs um, and so there you go that's the summary of the clinical benefits of honey the one more thing that i thought was super interesting that i i might as well mention to you is that <laughs> that uh, it was also shown that honey helps to for you to recover faster from alcohol intoxication and they mentioned 1.25 grams of honey per kilogram of body weight helps you to recover faster if you were drunk so i thought that was really interesting extra benefit i never knew about so i thought i would share that with you overall in these studies these these studies overall the duration was uh, average duration was eight and a half weeks uh, average um, honey consumption was about 40 grams uh, per per uh, per day, and for the topical use, it was about 12.5 grams of, of honey. And um, overall, the authors mentioned that honey could really be an a wonderful additional benefit for people to consider uh, when they're uh, treating themselves for variety of uh, of the conditions even like the ones i mentioned and that clearly we should be investigating this further but unfortunately 
no one wants to put money down for investigating uh, something that you can really um, control in terms of its sale, right? So, uh, which is too bad. I wish we did investigate this these type of studies further. All right, I'll wrap it up here. So please share the video. If you found this interesting, please leave a comment. Please give us a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And also please check out my Patreon account, which is a private account. All the videos that come out on YouTube are actually, or almost all, are usually pre-screened on Patreon account and not all of them make it. My patrons decide what goes on YouTube versus not. And oftentimes now patrons also determine what, uh, mm, where I should focus my attention. <laughs> And uh, there's additional perks as well of being a patron member. So if that is of interest to you, please check that out. And uh, you can support me that way as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.